Hello and welcome to Maker Mondays with Harris County Public Library. This week, we'll be making a fish out of water. Literally, we'll be using photop.com to edit our goldfish into outer space. Photop.com is a free online photo editing software, and we'll show you how to use it today. First, start by going to photop.com, and you'll see our workspace. We've got our standard dropdown at the top, our layers panel on the right, and our tools on the left. So let's get started by going to File Open, and we'll open up our goldfish image. Here you can see I've got this nice uh, white background goldfish photo. So we want to get rid of all of this white space so that we can have a completely transparent background. There's a few ways we can do this in PhotoP. We're going to start by using the eraser tool. So you can see it's about halfway down our toolbar and it works just like a brush. You can see if we click and drag on our workspace, um, you can see that it'll take away our background. And what's left is this little checkered pattern. That's just to signify that there is nothing there anymore. Now we can also adjust the size of our brush. So if we go to this little drop down menu in the top left corner, you can see you can change the size of your brush and you'll see the circle kind of uh, enlarge or shrink in the background. You can also change the hardness, which is just uh, the sharpness of your edge. So like you'll see right now, it looks really blurred and fuzzy. If we bring the hardness back all the way up, it should be a completely solid brush. Now I'm just gonna take it and make it pretty big and then erase along the edges of our image, getting most of that white space. And you'll see, I just made a mistake. But if you click Control Z on your keyboard, that'll undo it. You can also go down to the Edit drop down menu and you can click the Undo button. So now just continue erasing along the edges. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job, but it would take a long time to get into all those fine details of our fish with our eraser tool. So we're actually gonna to switch to using a different tool called the Magic Wand. And you can see it's the third tool down on our toolbar. And it might not show up for you, it might be hidden. Uh, but if you click and hold on that third tool, whatever it is, you should see three options underneath it. Anything with a little arrow in the corner means there's objects underneath it. So we'll hold down again and click on our magic wand. What the magic wand does is it selects like pixels, meaning if we click right now, it's gonna highlight all of our white pixels in the background, which is exactly what we want. Now we'll just hit our backspace key and all of that will be deleted. So we can go around and you'll see that it missed a few so we can click on those and delete them as well. Now the magic wand is a sensitive tool and you can change how sensitive it is. Let's say we change our tolerance which controls our sensitivity. We turn it all the way up. We click on our fish now. The entire thing is going to be highlighted and if you can't see it I'll just click delete and our fish has disappeared in its entirety, which is not what we want. So we'll lower our tolerance again and see if we can get these last little borders. And that's working much better now. Once we've got everything pretty much cleared out as far as we can see, we're gonna double check by using a neat little trick that I do. Uh, we're gonna go to our layers panel and make a new layer with the little sticky note looking button. It'll create a layer above our fish picture. And what we're gonna do is color this in with our brush tool. The brush is about the seventh item down, so we'll go ahead and select it. 
and then also click on the little colorful swatch in the bottom left. And there you can open up your color picker. I'm going to change the brush to this bright green color. And then I can also change the size of my paintbrush. And I'm just going to cover up the entire work area. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go back to my layers panel and take that layer and drag it underneath our fish. Now we can see exactly where our magic wand tool missed. So it's a little hard to see with just the checkered background. So now we can go back with our eraser tool, reselect our fish layer, maybe make the brush a little smaller and get all those little places that we missed. Right, once we're done with that, we're actually gonna hide our green layer by clicking on that little eyeball icon next to it. And we don't really need it anymore, so we can also delete it if you'd rather. And then we're going to click on our selection tool. And you'll see that I'll change our options at the top here. We have some quick save options, uh, one of which is a PNG. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphic. And that doesn't really tell you anything about what it does, but it's similar to a JPEG in that it's an image file, but it will keep transparency, meaning all of the background we just deleted, we want it to be transparent. A PNG will preserve that quality. So we'll go ahead and click this PNG button to do a quick save. And now we're ready to put our goldfish in space. So we'll go to File Open. And we'll click on our outer space image. You can use any space image you'd like. And then we're going to go to File, Open and Place. Now we're going to select our recently downloaded image of our new fish without the background. And we'll open it up. Now you can see the fish has been placed over our outer space image. You can use these box handles to shrink it down, rotate it, and move it around your artboard. Then when you're ready, you can click the checkbox in the top to finish the transformation. And now we truly have our fish out of water in space. Let's say we want to take it a step further though. This isn't just any normal goldfish. Let's make it an alien goldfish by turning it green. We'll go to the image drop down, click in under adjustments. We'll click on the hue and saturation option, which will give us this whole new pop-up menu. You can see we've got a number of sliders here. So if we slide our hue, around, you can see it's going to completely change the color of our fish. I'm going to make it this green color. And then I can also play around with the saturation and lightness. I think if I lower the saturation, it'll make it look a little more realistic. Maybe make it a little darker too if I mess with the lightness. Now if nothing's happening when you mess with these, make sure you do have your preview box checked. Otherwise, it'll just look the same. So we'll go ahead and click OK when we're happy with our color. And now we have our alien fish in space. There's a bunch of cool stuff you can do in PhotoP. Just like any other online photo editor, you can crop images, you can change the color like we just did, you can paint in it. Let's say somebody photobombs you, you can use the magic wand to, you know, cut them out of the picture or something like that. Or you want to change the color of your t-shirt, you can select your t-shirt and then use the hue tool to change it. I hope you have fun learning more about PhotoP and other online photo editors. And make sure to show us what you create this week by tagging us with the hashtag HCPOMadeIt on social media. And remember, there's always more to explore at your local Harris County Public Library.